Seal of Quality Award for Biggest Technological Blunder. The nominees are WWE 2K20. Anthem. Yeah, why is it Google so cool? Stadia. It's, it's like almost un unplayable. I don't know if you guys can see that. Fallout 76. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Warning. Enemy approaching. Fallout 76. Jesus Christ, Todd. Your game was so bad it won two years in a row. How, how does that even happen? Fallout 76's technical issues were hardly restricted to 2019, and if anything, somehow got worse this year. Between the terrible optimization, the rampant hacking, and the horrendous technical bugs that came with each update, the game has somehow only managed to become even more unplayable as the content came. Couple this with delaying fixes for said bugs and hacks, players literally looting each other's inventories, and banning the few people who managed to exploit the game into something somewhat entertaining, just manages to make this piece of shit even more of a joke every month it continues to string along on life support. It's fascinating that a bunch of Russians managed to cobble together a better online Fallout experience in their spare time than a major studio with hundreds of millions of dollars at their every whim. But ultimately, Bethesda is no stranger to fans salvaging their franchises anyway, I suppose.